got something broken, something electrical not working anymore, this is the first thing to go to, and it's checking the plug fuse. I'm going to take you to two plug types. First is the newer type that we've got these days, and then I'll show you the older type plug. Okay, let's go to the newer one first. This then is the newer type, okay, where you flick the fuse out, you put a little screwdriver in there, and ping it out, I'll show you. So we just flick this piece out here, okay, it'll be, this one's along here, some are in different places, but basically you get something sharp to lift up under there. Normally they are attached to that, it should be where it should come out with the fuse, but there's the fuse in there, and you can even test it with a test meter to make sure it's fine, I'll show you how to do that on the second video, it follows on, um, on the old plugs, um, or you can just have a box of fuses like this, as <laughs> say, and uh, just change it if one you know is not broken. Now let's go on to the older type plugs, and I'll show you how to check those fuses with a test meter as well. I'm going to check the fuse in this soldering iron here, um, would say that it's gone, it's not working, so how do you check it easily? Well, it's fairly simple really. Uh, if I show you the plug up close, um, there you go, you can see um, there's our fuse sitting there, and this particular one's got a 3 amp fuse according to the drawing on there. So you can see the connections, the negative, the earth, and the live, and there's the fuse sat in there. So I've, I've left that on just to show you, you know, exactly how and where the fuse sits in the plug. Okay, so we're going to take that off like so, and we're going to undo the front of the fuse, there's two cool grip screws there, left and right, and the main screw to undo the front of the plug, so we're going to undo the front of the plug with our main screwdriver, okay, take that out, snuff like that. you should be able to pull the top straight off, now, if you look there now, you'll see the 3 amp fuse, this is rated at 3 amp because it's very low power, it's a soldering iron, now there's two ways to check this, fuse. Um, now for me I've always used a very very cheap multi test meter and this is this is one of them and, and I'm going to put those on both sides of the fuse and this should flick up if I can hold all of it together we'll, we'll show you at the same time let's put it on, on the table there with one tip of the probe on that end of the fuse and the other on that side we should get a reading and there we are we have a reading Okay, the other easy way of checking a fuse, if you haven't got one of these here test meters, um, is just to take the fuse out of the appliance and just try it in something else and see if it works. Make sure though it's rated the same as the fuse in the appliance you're going to test. So, like this is a 3 amp, don't try it in something that's a 13 amp. Keep, make sure that it's still a 3 amp that you try it in. So, you know, make sure that the power rating is the same before we test it, otherwise it would just blow the fuse. So, like, if it was a standard lamp, this 3 amp fuse would, would work in a 3 amp standard lamp. Um, if you're doing a kettle fuse, that's 13 amp, obviously, you know, you can, you can try that fuse in something else that's 13 amp. So make sure the fuse rating is the same. Other than that, um, fairly, fairly simple and straightforward job, checking a plug fuse. Um,